Oh. Hey, where are you going? Hmm. Oh, I'm uh, just going to get some air. Shall I come with you, then? No, I, I want to be on my own. Oh, Zach! She's used this family. Sat beside his bed for hours. He's played us for fools. Yeah, but that's not Debbie's fault, though, is it, love? I wanted to bring him up. Take him into the bosom of my home. Nothing would have been too good for him. And after all we've been through, it turns out he's a good-for-nothing tape, poor flaming kid. Look, Mum's just as upset as you are, it's not Dad's. You understand nothing? Hey? She can give him away to whoever she wants now. Further away, the better. Listen, Noah is still my brother and you shouldn't say that about him. Look, you're a kid. Eh? You know now. Zach! What is the point? Even my own family don't understand. Look, just keep out of my face, the pair of you. Give us a look, then. Bit of a surprise. You're not kidding. I had no idea. How would I? And they never known to get it wrong. It was so certain in black and white, wasn't it? Tate, match positive. Listen, Mum. Out of the three of you, you'd have been the best dad by a million miles. You can come see him now if you like. You coming? No. Don't think I will. Right, I'm back off to work. Try to lift to college. Donna? Right, see you in a bit. Um, I'm not going until later. Why not? I've got a doctor's appointment. I knew there had to be something wrong when you turned down the chance. You're going to be late. Why are you getting to the doctor's? I'll make my own way there. Is it anything I should know about? No, it's just women's things. Right, well, good luck. I'll see you later. It was really nice of Gervais to go to all that trouble over our family tree. Well, uh, I think he was happy to help out. Well, that's what I thought at first. But then when we called around to see if he'd found anything, I thought he was a bit cagey, do you know what I mean? No, not really. Well, I could be wrong, but I felt he was holding something back. Really? Yes. Well, he found out your great-grandparents are farmers. No, not me. About Edna. Oh. I, um... I don't suppose he said anything to you about anything he found, did he? No, no, nothing at all. Because I suppose I could always go back and ask him myself. Pardon? I could ask him myself. No, no, no. Uh, you mustn't do that. Why not? Well, you know, Jarvis is always busy doing uh, things. Because when he found out about Edna's past, I thought he couldn't wait to get us out of there fast enough. And if her grandma was such a famous actress, how come I'd never heard of her? Don't know. Had you? The name rings a faint bell. What? Will you take me back to see my mum now? What for? Because I want you to talk to her. Do you now? To say what? That you don't want her to have Noah adopted. It's the best thing for him. Look, he can't help who his dad was. He's still a dingle, one of us. Could never be one of us. His blood is tainted. How? Look, Chris Tate as good as killed our butch. I can't have his son under my roof. How could I? Being reminded of that every time I looked at him. I lived at home farm. He wants to be my dad. Do you want to get rid of me as well? I've got to go now, Mrs Woodall. Well, I'll see you at four o'clock, won't I? What? Did he? Uh, I've got an emergency and I have to go... What? Shh. Yeah, bye. What happened to you? I had this feeling I wanted to see Noah. Suddenly got it into my head that he was mine. <laughs> Wanted to be with him. 
No, was he? He's Chris Tate. Ooh. So, on my own again. Probably for the best, eh? No, you're not on your own, Marlon. I wish you wouldn't keep saying that. Am I not? No, you're not. And if you just open your eyes for a flipping second, you'd see that you're surrounded with all the help and support you could ever want. You just... You're just wallowing in it now. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I don't, I don't mean to. What are you going to do now? Maybe you should stay with us for a bit longer. Be happy to have another bloke round the house. Go home cooking. You could stay up all night putting the world to rights. Go on, will you? The home cooking. It will be Emily and not you, won't it? Worst of it's over now. And you're putting up a good fight. I didn't hear you come in. Looks like he's got a bit of colour back. Yeah, so have you. Here you go. I'll pop back in a minute. Well, I don't think I'll be seeing you lot for a while. Out of the will again, am I? Probably Zach's anyway. Oh, poor little mite. As far as he can tell, he's doing all right. He doesn't look much like a Tate. Chris is dead, Lisa. How long can Zach go and hate him for? Oh, as long as there's something to remind him of everything that they did to us, I suppose. I honestly didn't know he was Chris's. At least it gets Zach off my back about adopting him. Although looking at him now. Oh, come oh. on, Lisa. What kind of life would he have had in the village anyway? He needs to get as far away as he can. Debbie's upset. She wanted a little brother. She's going to be having kids of her own before we know it. Don't say that. She may go on at Zach to come here and persuade you to keep him. And is that what you're trying to do? Oh, there's nothing I could do could change your mind. Look. I know that Debbie's mad with me now, but when she's older, she'll realise I had no other choice, Lisa. Yeah. Are you all right? Yeah, I thought you cried off after the last drubbing I gave you. Loser gets next round. Cheers. Have you noticed anything strange about Donna recently? <laughs> Apart from her taste in man. Just this morning, I walked in on her and Katie, and they went all silent on me. It's obvious what they were talking about. What? Well, what do all women talk about when men are not around? Well, she might want to talk about it, but she don't want to do it anymore. <laughs> Maybe she's seen sense and gone off you. <laughs> yeah, right. And then she says she's got this doctor's appointment, but she won't let me give her a lift. So it's just woman's troubles. She did? What, she's pregnant? What, Donna? Nah. We're always careful. Well, most of the time. Leonard. Sorry. I can't make lunch. She's found another man. We well, have a little project I'm working on. Well, are you going to tell her what it's about? Let's just say Gervais's research really inspired me. So now I'm going to do a bit of my own. I'll keep you posted. Bye. <laughs> yeah, see you. <laughs> Shall go. <clears throat> Hi, Zoe Tate. Marlon's been to the hospital. Well, that's up to him. Why would it bother me? And apparently, the DNA results have come through. It's so all you're not going to like this. What? Noah's dad. It's Chris. There's no doubt about it. <laughs> the doctors. What happened, Donna? Can we go up to the flat? Can I help you? I was just looking for someone. A patient? 
No, his mother, Charity Dingle. Oh, uh, you mean Tate? Yeah. Uh, your friend? I'm Noah's aunt. Oh, right. How is he? Well, he had an operation this morning, which seems to have gone all right. A bit early to be sure, though. But you think he's going to be OK? We're doing all we can. Would you like to see him? Um... Well, if you don't mind waiting, I'll tell her that you're here. What name is it? Zoe Tate. OK. I'm not proud about it. I don't know. I've got a disease. What? Oh, my poor baby. What sort of disease? The sexually transmitted kind. Oh, my God! Who else knows about it? So far, just you, me and the doctor. The shame of it! You mustn't tell anyone else! Well, I'm not planning on declaring it in the wool pack. Oh, God, if Edna gets hold of this news, she'll hound us from the village. Well, thanks for your help, Mum. It's chlamydia. Increasingly common, apparently. Well, I never had it. Kelly did. Twice. She never. Made me swear not to tell you. Little hussy. Mama. Well, what do you expect? Kids these days jumping in and out of bed with each other at drop of an hat. Oh, like you never did. Well, if I did, I seem to be a bit more careful. How serious is it? The doctor thinks he's caught it in time. He thinks? You mean there could be complications? I'll have to get on the internet. Where? Not in the car? That Robert Sugden! He's got a lot to answer for! How could he? Hi. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to start on pucking down here. Just came to see if there's anything you need. Are you sure you want to be on your own with me after the last night? Yes. Please don't mention that again. OK. The lovely pictures. I went to see Noah. Paddy said. You know, seeing him there, tiny, all on his own. I felt like a dad. For a couple of minutes, I actually felt like a father to him. Would have made cracking parents, you know. She'd have daughter to one of our own and I'd have been strict but fair. You strict. We'll never know now, will we? You've got plenty of time, Marlon. You'll meet someone else. People are having families later and later in life now, aren't they? I believe we have one true love in our lives. You know, one person who comes along and makes everything. Everything. All right. I had her. And she's gone. So I'm not going to hold my breath waiting for another Tricia. Florence... Ah, here we are. Florence Taylor, renowned society courtesan was arrested and taken to Bow Street Police Station. Oh, my God! Right, everybody out. We're closing early. Sorry for the inconvenience, but it can't be helped. Free scone and pot of tea tomorrow, but right now I want you all to go. Thank you. Out. Do come back soon. Goodbye. Sorry. Thank you. See you soon. Thank you. Thank you. No, no, I need to take a copy of this page. We'll come back later. The cafe has to be vacated at once. Viv! Out before I ban you forever! Oh, oh while you're there, could you put me on a search engine page, please? Oh. Right, there you go. You can come back in now. Thank you. I've seen more than enough. <laughs> Here. Scott. Yeah. It's all right. Ah, uh, car problem. It's taking longer and longer to start. Sometimes it starts the first time, other times it takes ten minutes. Well, have you let the battery run down recently? Not that I know of. 
Well, it probably just needs a good charge. I'll take it out for a long run. I'm sure it'll get back to normal. You all haven't got time for that. Oh, I see. So you want me to take it out for a long run, do you? I was just wondering if there's anything you could do to it. Well, yeah, I could change the battery for if you want, but it's expensive and you don't need it. Well, how long will that take? Not long. Oh, have we got a battery for one of these? Is? Yeah. All right, then I'll wait. So, what's at home that you're so keen to avoid? Family stuff. Isn't it always? Everything just always seems to go wrong for me. Well, it might seem like that now. We got the results back from our mum's paternity test. Grandad wanted to adopt Noah, but now he's found out he's Chris's. He said he never wants to set eyes on him again. And I thought my family had troubles. He's my little brother. I don't give a damn who his dad is. <sighs> Sorry. I just want him to live with me. What's your mum want? Uh, I don't know if she's coming or going. She didn't even know she wanted the dad to be in the first place. She just wants to get rid of him. Have you told them how you feel? Well, they don't listen to me. Well, they should do. I'm sure you speak as much sense as any of them. Look at her life of luxury she's had. She wouldn't know a problem if it bit her on me. Ah. Um. So, Debbie, what do you do to take your mind off your troubles? Nothing. I can't really remember thinking about anything else. Hey, as a vicar, you're not... Cure it. Cure it? You're not allowed to pass any of this on, are you? I'm afraid that's the Catholics, and then only if it's heard in confession. But as a friend, I wouldn't dream of telling us all. I'm telling you, it's the tube's gone. Look, there's no picture at all. It's not tube. There's no picture because Theriel needs to be routed through video to set, not to the way round. Hi, boys. Oh, hey. How did he get on with that project? It was rather enlightening. Oh, to do with what I found out. Well, after our little chat this morning, I felt inspired to do a bit of research of my own. Uh, and what did you find? That you haven't been altogether honest with poor old Edna, have you? How's Jane? Yeah, good. Sounds like better than Noah, anyway. Chris is the father. What? Test results came back today. I wonder you want someone to talk to. What makes you say that? Well, it changes everything, doesn't it? Does it? Yeah, of course it does. I mean, from the first moment I suspected that the gene might be mine, you know, I, I couldn't stop thinking about it. Not a second. I mean, surely you've got to admit that it changes the way you feel about it. Do you really think about her? Yeah, all the time. So, what made you confess what happened between us? That you were the father? I just got to the point where I, I had to, you know? I wanted everybody to know. And I'm glad I did. Mm. So am I. So what are you going to do about Noah? Well, I went to visit him in the hospital. But my nerve failed and I left without seeing him. But you're right. Knowing that Chris is the father. It does change everything. I knew you hadn't been altogether straight with us this morning. I don't know what you're talking about. She has been so self-righteous about the whole thing. Your predecessors make you who you are, you know. She might be interested to know that her grandma was a common streetwalker charging for her favours. <laughs> Edna's granny is a tart. <laughs> Wonderful, isn't it? Oh. <laughs> oh, I get it. You found out about the other Florence Taylor. No, 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 she were a colourful character. She's no to do with Edna, of course. <laughs> Apart from living at the same address and having the same dates of birth and death. Oh. Apparently, she'd had relations with half the people in London. And if she'd left past 40, she'd have probably managed the other half and all. Uh, do you know, it's amazing what you can find out on the internet. Oh, I can't wait to see her face. The way she looked down her nose at me when she knew that my ancestors were farmers. Pearl, you're not going to tell her. 
You must be joking. I am going to sit her down, I'm going to buy her a large port and lemon, and I'm going to enjoy every minute of it. Have <gasps> well, you thought what it might do to her? I know. Yeah, but she don't deserve that. But she'd do the same to me if the tables were turned. Oh, I don't know about that. Oh, oh. I do. Well, she might leave a bit to be desired in more than one department or Edna, but I, but I know for a fact she'd never go out of her way to spite anyone. No, or upset anyone, if, if she could help it. Oh, and, and she might like to pass judgment every now and again, but, but she's no gossip. Uh, and if she found out something about you, I think she'd keep it to herself. Well, love, she'd never live this down. I can understand why you want to bring it down a peg or two, but it ain't just knowing enough. I reckon what we've found out we should just keep between the three of us. Hey, the last thing we need are all these long faces staring down at him. Look happy for him. Yeah, well, you give me something to be happy about and I'll try. Look, the first 24 hours are the most difficult. If he gets through tomorrow, then there's every chance he's going to be fine. Did his aunt ever find you? Who? She came earlier. I went to check with the sister if she could visit. By the time I got back, she'd gone. Well, what did she look like? Well, she was concerned about him and she watched an hour the operation went. Uh, a Zoe, Zoe Tate. Is there a problem? Zoe? No, no, there isn't a problem. Well, just when I thought my luck was finally running out, what pops Auntie Zoe? Hey, Noah. Things just might be starting to look up for the pair of us. Mm -hmm.